Are you tired of paying rent? Are you ready to size up or size down your house? Today, we're gonna talk about the first five things you need to do to get ready to buy a house. This is Live Joy Southwest Florida. We talk to you about everything you need to know about moving to and living in Southwest Florida. We would love for you to subscribe to our channel, ring the bell, you'll be notified every time we release a new video. Okay, so you're ready to buy a house. Maybe it's your first time. Maybe it's not your first time. Maybe it's just been a while since you have purchased a home. So we're gonna talk about what are the things that you need to do because it can be very overwhelming. So we're gonna just take this one step at a time. The first thing you need to do is you need to get your credit in order. It might already be in order, but it's really important to understand your credit score and know your situation. You need to have at least a 620. Higher is um, better. It will make it easier to get through the process. But if you've got any credit card uh, debt, if you've got revolving debt, it's a good idea to start tackling that as you are planning to start looking for a home. Pay those off as much as you can because that will help increase your credit score, which is gonna help make the mortgage process so much easier if you're getting a mortgage. Okay, the next step once you're ready, and this is the most important step, is you've gotta work with a reputable local lender to get your pre-approval. They run your credit, they talk to you about what you're looking at, and this is where you will find out exactly how much money you can afford to get a proof or for a loan. It's so important to know what that number is, and not just that number. The most important number, in addition to how much you can afford, is how much you are comfortable spending. Because that is where we figure out where to narrow down, what price point you should be looking at. Because it does not do you any good to look at a price point that's well above what you can afford or are comfortable spending, because it's really hard to come back once you've looked at those amazing houses. So we wanna make sure that we're setting realistic expectations for the search and in a place where you are absolutely comfortable that you can make that payment monthly. Yes, and don't wanna forget, you have to have this pre-approval to be able to make a strong offer. So this is a step that has to happen before you are out physically searching for homes. All right, the third step, save money. You're gonna to have to put money for a down payment and you're gonna to have to have money for closing costs. So you've gotta make sure that you have enough money to be able to handle all of that. Down payments range anywhere from three and a half percent up to as much as you might choose to put down. A lot of people will put 10 or 20% down. Then in addition to that, you will have the cl closing costs on purchasing the home and your lender can actually give you a really good estimate that will be very close to the total number of funds that you will need to go ahead and make that purchase. And then don't forget, you're probably going to want to have a little money left over once you move in so that you can do some projects, buy furniture, things like that. But do not make those purchases before you get through purchasing the home. You've got to just hold tight, save that money up until you get through closing, then you can start making purchases for the home. So the next step is going to be to start researching where it is that you want to live. By this point, you've talked to a lender, you're saving money, you're aware of what you can afford, what you're comfortable spending, and now you can actually start the search. So look at all the criteria of what you're looking for and figure out where are the locations that you can um, ideally start narrowing in on to start finding the home that you want. And the fifth step, and this really will help a lot with the fourth step, is to hire a realtor. You really wanna have a local professional who's got your back, who has the knowledge to be able to help you navigate. This can be a very overwhelming process. If you have someone who's an expert in the area you're wanting to move to, they're gonna really be able to help point you to the resources that you need to make sure that you are making the absolute best decision for your family. Okay, so that's it. Those are the five things you need to do to get ready to buy a home. And I know it can be really overwhelming. Let's just do a quick recap. One, get your credit in order. Pay off any revolving debt that you're able to do. Two, get with a local lender to get a pre-approval and understand not just how much you can be approved for, but how much you're comfortable spending monthly. Three, you're gonna save money and start preparing for everything that you need to close on that home, including your down payment and your closing costs. Four, you're gonna start researching the areas that you wanna live where it meets all your criteria, including your budget. And five, 
hire a local realtor that will give you representation and will help make this overwhelming process a little bit smoother for you. What questions do you have? Please leave us some questions in the comments below that we can address and share with you about moving to and living in Southwest Florida. You can always find us on social media. You can call us directly or text us at 239-776-6872. And you should definitely check out this video that talks about what to expect at the final walkthrough, which after you've gone through this process, come under contract on a home, the last piece is gonna be the final walkthrough before closing.